this since the summer and it's now it's basically winter I don't know if it's technically winter but either way it's cold out I figured I'd bring you along join me for a day in my life so I already made the bed that's the first thing I do when I wake up rolled out my yoga mat and now I'm scrolling through YouTube finding a workout to do or maybe I'll just watch Joanna Gaines. No, gotta work it out. Today's circuit is really gonna be focused on the outer and inner thighs. about it while I'm walking too. I'm like, what would I do if someone walked up to me right now? <laughs> Don't do that, you run. run home. Okay, I'll run. <laughs> I got keys, those can be sharp. Yeah. But they're really small, won't do much damage. You're gonna drop them. All right, I'll just run. Love you. Love you too. Have a good day. Actually quite a nice day today like at least the Sun is out I still don't think I'm overdressed though because if the air is on your skin it's really cold so I download an hour-long podcast to my phone so that I don't have to use data while I'm on my walk it's just downloaded saved to my phone and then I listen to that podcast while I walk and uh, soak up all the knowledge, inspiration, motivation, insight that I can. And then when I get back to the house, I have a list of other things for myself to do. The reason the list is important is because if I'm left alone for an entire evening by myself, if I didn't create a task list for myself, I would end up watching YouTube, snacking a lot, and then feeling really guilty about not doing anything productive. <laughs> I have to create a task list and I have to stick to it. Here we go. Each of us have a lot of fear and we are sensitive and we're in reaction to everyone else's fear. Anxiety is contagious. Mm -hmm. So our real responsibility if we want to be calm 
is not to solve the future threat that we're imagining, but to be present. Mm -hmm. So everybody take a moment right now, and yes, just be present to what you're experiencing in your body. I'm 40 minutes into my walk. I just feel free. I don't care that it's cold. It's almost refreshing. What could you be doing that would actually add value to your life, like going for a walk or getting a workout in or whatever it is? What is it that you're, you're making an excuse, a justification that seems pretty valid? It's like, it's freaking freezing outside. I'm not gonna go for a walk. It's like, why not? You might actually love it. Walking, listening to a podcast and or music is just one of the coolest things ever. If you need to go do something and you're avoiding it, just do it. Rip the band-aid off and get it done. You'll feel better when you do. I like to rinse off in the shower, take a hot shower. It just helps my body and my brain know that it's time to start unwinding so I took my shower and then I decided to go live in my Facebook group happy healthy women if you're unfamiliar you should check it out aside from that my day is almost over. Dalton is not home from practice yet. He should be home soon. Yeah, I'll unwind, watch a little TV with him after he tells me about his day, and cuddle and go to sleep, and then wake up and do it all over again. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. A meditation teacher said this way to me, that we all have our list to do every day, and she said, but what we don't do as women, which is actually what we're, we're built for, is go at the end of the day and say, how many relationships did you attend to? Mm -hmm. That should be equally as important as the to-do list because we devalue, which, which is essentially feminine, relatedness, connectedness, empathy. This is what we're geniuses at. But the patriarchal culture has devalued that and said, no, consumption, goal setting, some future gold ring. That doesn't make us happy. What truly makes us happy as women is loving. Mm -hmm. That's our best asset. And the world certainly needs it. Mm -hmm.